Hey guys, what is going on? This is Pants R Dragon, and today we'll be doing a little video on this new build that involves Tristana getting Rage Blade and Runon's Hurricane, similar to Kogma. Now a lot of pros have been talking about it and using it, and it's definitely really interesting because this build on Tristana is kinda weird. As you expect her to go to the Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, or Static Shiv build, but apparently not, and this build might be the optimal build for her. So I tried it out, and I just want to give my thoughts on it. Also, this video will be sponsored by Pro Guides. Check them out for all your rank game needs and their little new chat feature where you can talk to people and get questions answered. And so with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so I do understand some of the pros of this build and why it's good. Like the AP on Gunju's Rage Blade is actually pretty good on her, as her full combo has a 2.6 AP ratio. Not a lot of AD carries have an AP ratio as big as that. So the ability power is not wasted on her, and she also doesn't have the best AD ratios. In fact, it's only on her E, and the maximum potential damage is about 2.4 bonus AD. So it is a decent AD ratio, but compared to someone who has big AD ratios like Lucian, it's not that good, and you don't really feel that getting more AD on Tristana is that beneficial. So all she is is basically an auto attacker, and that's why she has good synergy with Rage Blade. It also gives her a little bit of mixed damage since her WR already do magic damage, so to spice it up a notch, she's gonna have some Gunju's Rage Blade damage up in that bitch. And it also gives her a more powerful mid-game power spike, since, well, Rage Blade on anyone will give them a power spike, and Tristana was always kinda lacking in that department until she would get her Infinity Edge and Phantom Dancer or Static Shiver or whatever. And just like Kogma, it'll still make her scale good into the late game. It's also got a lot more burst, so when you decide to jump on someone with your W and you're just using your abilities, you will have quite a bit of unexpected burst. And you know, that's how your enemies like it. Unexpected. So yeah, it's good to surprise people with a bang. It also helps that she has long range, kinda like Kogma, so she can keep autoing and poking the enemy while at a safe distance. Also, Sieging Tower seems a little bit stronger. Since your E will be doing a little bit more damage, plus you have a lot of attack speed coming from the stacks of Gunju's Rage Blade. Now, you're probably wondering what the build kind of looks like. And it sort of looks like this. As you can see, we go the Rage Blade into the Runon's Hurricane, and it is very similar to Kogma's build. But then you go more of an AD carry build later in the game. Now, my final thoughts on this build. I actually do think it is her new staple build. It definitely feels better than the regular AD carry build, since I feel she has more of a mid game power spike and it doesn't really hurt her late game too much. Uh, I'm not sure on the math, but it might actually increase it to be honest. And this build, I can definitely see it being used on someone like Misfortune or someone who has decent AP ratios, while also auto attacks a lot in team fights. I'm not sure who they would be, maybe you will see Lucian in the future with this build? Probably not, because he actually likes his cooldown reduction, so yeah, those are just some examples you might see in the future. And I wouldn't be too surprised, actually I would be pretty surprised if I saw it on them to be honest. But this could be a new meta thing, who knows. Now you're probably wondering, is Tristana OP because of this build? Well, the answer to that is no. I don't feel like she's broken or deserves a nerf because of this build, and I'm not sure if she would be top 5. But, I will say that I did this video because I found it really interesting and I want to share this with you guys. So yeah, it's just a little quick video, not gonna be a guide, except like the build and stuff like that, but gameplay wise, I'm not even sure if I'm playing her correctly, so I don't want to be giving some maybe false tips on her, but I will say that this build makes her more interesting and a little bit more fun. But yeah, that is the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. On one of my other videos, I asked you guys, what do you guys think about Sunfire Cape? And here's some of my favorite answers. For your chance to be featured in a future video, make sure to comment below on what champion do you think is next with this build. I actually think maybe Misfortune might come back with it, but I don't know. You can try experimenting with yourself, but I suggest trying it in normals before you try it in ranked. And yeah, if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.